Hello, this is Infra Arcana. As you see in the upper right there, it is the Thanksgiving Eve build. It's still the latest build of the game that the author has released. However, this is not just the vanilla uh, release. This has been modified. The first mod of a roguelike I have ever run. And I will show you exactly what that mod consists of once I can back up to my desktop. Just leave the game running in a little window there. Uh, Infra Arcana is a free game. You can just go to the website and download it. I'll put the game's website address in the description here. So that's what I did. I downloaded the game, and I guess you're going to get to see some of my file system because I was not careful. Please don't uh, take advantage. So this is where I extracted the game. The, the zip that I downloaded from the official site. Not, uh, you know, I don't know if it's that bright to put it in program files because then you have to approve permissions. Even if you're the administrator, it's always, it's a pain. Um, anyway, uh, this is, yeah, here's here's the executable, uh, all these text files. You go into the data folder, and this is where my mod is. There's really only one data file in the root data folder and that is monsters xml uh, i haven't even looked in the colors there's some more xml stuff in there but as far as gameplay modifications that you could make to the compiled game monsters xml seems to be the main thing that's actually here uh, of course the game is open source so you could just download the source code and modify the gosh darn source code yourself if you know whatever it's written in, probably C or C++, uh, and then compile it yourself if you know how to do that kind of thing. Fortunately for myself, I do not know how to do that kind of thing. I could get myself into probably a lot of trouble doing that or just never leave the house because I would become too obsessed. Uh, I'm not very good at leaving the house as it is. So I went on a big rant over on the Infra Arcana Discord during the week over a certain uh, aspect of the game, a certain mechanic in the game that I'm not a huge fan of. It's called shock. Your character takes shock when they do... Uh, let's see. We have insanity. Certain events in this game affect the sanity and composure of your character. One of the main threats to your mental health are the various horrifying creatures that inhabit the game world. When inside your view, some creatures may cause a vague unease, while others are very disturbing to behold. Uh, and then your mind also takes it when you use occult powers, carry weird artifacts, stand in darkness, etc. I was actually told by a uh, Gamma Funk, who is a uh, experienced Infra Arcana player on the Infra Arcana Discord, that even just taking damage can can raise your uh, your shock. That's what this all affects in the game. It's a statistic. It's just a number that's called shock. There's a slow perpetual taxing. Yeah. So if you're just standing, just passing every turn in the dungeon, your your shock value increases. A slow perpetual taxing of your mind. Um, your mental health is represented by two percentage values. Shock is the level of stress and paranoia in the current situation. So each time your shock builds up, it's a percentage. Each time it builds up to 100, as it says here, uh, you react somehow, gain a phobia, babble. Yeah, you, you pick up basically an insane tick, and then you go back to having zero shock, and then it starts building again as normal. And then your insanity percentage goes up by something like 10 to 15 percent once your insanity hits 100 percent it's game over i think i've never even lived that long but i have i've played to the point where my shock has not trended well and it's it's i'm gonna go insane before i possibly reach the the uh bottom of the dungeon um other times i've probably managed it better and theoretically i could survive and not be completely insane but I just don't like shock. It it constrains everything I want to do to have fun in the game. I don't find it fun at all. I, uh, I, I don't like it as a mechanic. So I went on this big rant. The, the people in the Infra Arcana Discord who are all much more knowledgeable about the game than I am, I believe, um, they were surprisingly tolerant of me. They did not just say, 
you know, get out noob. Uh, they, uh, they tried to, you know, find out what exactly I didn't like and tried to point out things that, uh, you know, maybe I wasn't, wasn't noticing about the system that, that they kind of think is neat. And, uh, you know, I had my counter arguments, but it was all, it was all, uh, cheerfully done, I think. Um, and one of the, one of the folks there who goes by the name of, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm, oh, Hal, Hal, H-A-L, was actually kind enough and smart enough and just cool enough to think about it, and he realized that he could go into the monsters XML, monsters.xml file and, and remove the, the thing that causes the monsters to... Uh, to cause that vague unease or that disturbing effect on your mind, to, to take away the shock that they add to you when you spot them. Um, because, and we can even open this in, so actually this is the original that I extract, that came with the game. This is the modified version that Hal gave me. And I took a look at what he did, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So I'm just gonna open this with Notepad. You shouldn't, you shouldn't edit things with Notepad, because Notepad's kind of a, I mean, you can. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, so it has entries, and even the first entries for the player, I guess. But if we scroll down to a monster, yeah, so zombie, um, which are actually called reanimated corpses. We go down to their attributes section, and this is everything about zombies that you could want to know or set. It's got this shock level setting. And for a zombie, it's frightening. So every monster has their shock level, and it's it's not like a number, it's this word which corresponds to some level, I guess. For a zombie, it's frightening. Um, the level of setting no shock, of causing no shock, is just none. So there are animals in the game, natural animals, like wolves and snakes, you know, just, just regular kind of wildlife that are in the dungeon that you run into, and they they don't give you any shock. They give you shock none. There are regular humans in the game. I mean, they're 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 a little kooky, but they're more or less regular humans. They're uh, just these cultists. Uh, they don't give you any shock either. So they're shock none. So Hal realized that all he had to do was just change shock level for all of the horrible monsters who normally cause you your shock to climb. You just you just set that to none. So that's what he did, and you can do that really easily. So I, I made myself a macro in uh, Notepad++, which is a free free text editor that's got some cool stuff, and you can set macros. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't set a macro. Did I not save it? What the heck? I'm really going to be embarrassed if I didn't. I don't think I did. Gosh dang it. What a, what a, what a screw up. I was all proud of how I had done that and I went and bragged about it in the infrared candidate card. Uh, well let's redo it. So, what we're looking for is shock level. Right? And if we look at the one that Hal made, which is this one, I should actually open it in, in plus plus, but, uh, and we go down to the zombie, here's the zombie, we go down to attributes, there. So he set shock level for the zombie to none, and he did that for all the other monsters that had a, sh a shock level they incurred. So... That's all you gotta do. Um, so I'm gonna open my my original copy of the thing. Oh gosh, I didn't plan to actually do this. Like this is really exciting video, isn't it? I'm I'm modifying files. I'm making a I'm making a freaking macro and a text editor. How mind blowing is that? And I also wasn't going to do it because the, the color coding for the XML does not seem to be playing very well with the uh, dark theme. Anyway, so we're, uh, all you would do in 
Notepad++. Pad plus plus. I may screw this up a few times. Start recording. Gonna go to uh, find and replace. We're looking for shock level. Period. Where's my asterisk? Asterisk, which means it'll just find anything. Oops. Unless we tap down and erase it like a genius. This is this is how elite I am at uh, this kind of thing. Okay, and replace it with shock level. None. And we're going to be looking for a regular expression because that period asterisk is a regular expression. So just to make sure this is going to actually do the thing I want. Go find... Okay, here's a shock level frightening for the zombie. So... Replace all. There you go. 88 occurrences were replaced. Now, it didn't actually replace that many, uh, sort of, because it also replaced all the ones. This just found everything. So even the ones that were already at shock level, none it replaced with none. Um, and that's what you would do. So... Close this. Macro. Stop recording. Macro. And then, see, this is what I forgot to do before. Save current recorded macro. Oh, no, maybe I did do this, and it just didn't add it. Gee, is there another step you have to do to add it to the menu? Oh, well. Um, Hal's. Uh, no monster shock. No monster... Shock mod. And I guess you can assign it to a control key or a, sh a shortcut key. Maybe I did do that before and it just doesn't put it in a... Nope, there it is. Okay, so in theory, let me revert this file. Come on, how do you... I haven't been using Notepad++ for very long. I was using TextPad for ages and ages. Uh, an ancient version because it got kind of annoying with how it would charge money for upgraded versions. Uh, can I... Oh, reload from disk is what they call revert. Okay. So now that's back. If I run my macro... There we go. Let's just make sure it got some other monsters in here. There's a bloated thing. None. Okay, I think it. I think it's working. I think I got that done. So anyway, that's how that's how I'll do it. Because of course, what'll happen the next time an official update for the game comes out? I actually, I've been in the habit of just completely d deleting my old version of the game and then then extracting the new version into a completely fresh folder. So, so the monsters XML mo that's modded right now will go away. So I'll have to. Each time an update comes out, I'll just have to open the Monsters XML, the fresh Monsters XML for that new version, open it in Notepad++, run my macro, save it, and then I'll be good for until the game is updated again. Um, so that's how that works. Now we'll see we'll see how this actually goes in the game. I have not really I did a, did a quick run through of some of the first levels with the mod and. Uh, it seemed promising. It doesn't get rid, you know, like the uh, the tome of knowledge in the game here was saying. Shock from monsters is one source of shock, but there's all kinds of other sources of shock. Basically, almost anything in the game that you do can give you shock. Uh, it's just it's just a real drag, man. But now monsters won't be doing it, and that is a major source of shock, so it should make shock more manageable. Ideally, I'll be able to get it to the point where I don't ever have to worry about it, and I can just play the game freely without being concerned about, you know, if I'm, you know, if I just feel like goofing around here, is that going to cause my shock to, to get out of hand and eventually cause me to go insane and, and lose because of the shock thing? Uh, oh, why did I save a game? Well, I think maybe that was the game where I was testing shock. I don't remember. Ion, yeah, Death 4. Yeah, this is the one I was messing around with. Um, 
I don't want to. I want to start over so we can all see everything. Yeah, I mean, there was nothing exceptional about this war veteran run except that I made it to depth four without dying. I was at level two, character level two. How do I quit? That's okay. So goodbye, Corporal Pie, or whatever I named that character. Okay, let's do a fresh start. War Veteran, because I'm not, I don't know enough to play the others yet. I still haven't gotten anywhere with War Veteran for Pete's sake. So there are these traits. You pick one to start with. I've always been, almost always been picking cool headed because that helped me manage shock. It, it reduces the shock you incur from anything. Well, just about anything, I guess, by 20%. So that helps a bunch. And it, it basically means you have more time to explore. And you need to explore because that's how you gain XP. You, you gain XP in this game only by discovering things, not by killing monsters. So if you can't explore, if, if your shot goes up and you have to run down to the next floor, because going down to the next floor resets your shock. It's really the only surefire way of... of uh, getting your shock back down to as low as it can go. Um, but if you do get rushed down to the next level because of shock, you'll you'll probably miss some XP you could have collected, and you'll end up underpowered, basically. Uh, so anyway, there's Cool Headed, which, which is just a place, uh, a straight plus 20% to shock resistance. There is also... Rapid Recoverer, which lets you regenerate hit points. That doesn't sound like it has anything to do with shock, except remember that just passing time in the dungeon, which is how you regenerate health, you just you just sit for a while, or you know you just stand in place for a while until your health gets higher. Um, that takes time, and time over time your shock rises. So it basically costs you shock to heal. If you can heal faster, that's less incurred shock. So rapid recover helps shock. It also, of course, just helps you survive uh, getting taking hits. Um, I mean, all of these things help shock in a way because, you know, you, like if you have more hit points, you don't have to stop and rest as much necessarily. If you're killing monsters faster, you probably won't run into as much shock and all that stuff. But uh, some are a little more direct than others. Um, what's the other one? Oh, well, I guess the other one I was thinking of, I mean, this would reduce the damage you take, which would also reduce the amount of time you have to sit waiting around. I've never taken this one, I don't think. Uh, but the other one I was thinking of, I think, is one that you get access to after Cool Head, and it's another resistance drop, and it also gives you uh, a uh, resistance to to t the terrified status or something like that. Anyway, I'm just going to take Cool Head. And we are going to play um, Admiral Bob. No, no, I think we should be gender neutral. Admiral Admiral Chud. There we go. Admiral Chud. All right, Admiral. I've got it. I'm playing on a new keyboard again. <laughs> This is a Bluetooth uh, keyboard with a touchpad. It's very, very low profile. So I'm the last keyboard I was using was it felt like a play school thing, just big and plastic. It was this uh, Logitech wireless keyboard with a touchpad, but I was actually getting pretty used to it. And it was I started trying all these keyboards. Okay, I have to I gotta hit period two. No, it didn't. Wow. That's the first time I have failed to disarm a trap that I can remember. So I pushed period to disarm the trap I stood on, and uh, and the trap just went off instead. I, yeah, I hardly ever failed trap disarming, so my shock is 1% already. So I'm just going to have to wait around to get this blind. Oh, that didn't last long at all. Okay, sweet. My shock is 2% just from passing time in the dungeon. Let's try to disarm that. Okay, so we have to come back this way. Okay, I didn't go blind again. Now, I've just been reading scrolls as soon as I get them because that's how you identify scrolls. I think, actually, uh, I don't want to apply it. What if we just uh, look at it? Oh, no, I did it wrong. That's not how you look at it. 
So I just read it. Manuscript of Azazoth's Gaze. What did that do? Now I have it as a spell that caused damage to creatures around me or something. Um, casting spells in the game raises your shock. My shock is at 17, so I guess reading that scroll also raised my shock, probably. Because I don't think it was that high before I read it. So shock sucks. I don't like shock at all. It's just I want to I want to have fun playing a game. I don't want to I don't want to worry about this number going up every time I do something. There's a gong. I've decided gongs are another thing I'm going to strive to avoid. A gong. When you gong a gong, you I think always gain a cool arcane artifact that has some crazy power. And by the way, using artifacts raises your shock um but presumably you would use it because the power is so cool and then it usually like takes a while to recharge or whatever before you can use it again the problem is uh the gong also extracts a price from you for ringing it and giving you that artifact uh it can spawn monsters i guess people were talking in the discord recently about some really bad monsters that got spawned um but what happened to me the last few times I used a gong was it, it gives you a permanent status effect. So I got permanently the deafened status effect, so I couldn't hear any sounds. And in fact, the game stops playing all, all sound for you, which sucks because the game has awesome music and sound effects. But I, it was like I, I just wasn't getting them anymore for the whole game. So that stank. Uh, the other one that I got permanently was Cursed, which like gives you a like minus 10% to all the useful things you want to do with your character for the rest of the game until I guess you, you, uh, you can get a blessing put on you, but I did not get far enough for that, but I did get through a bunch of levels stuck with the stupid curse thing before I died and it sucked. So I'm not going to hit gongs anymore. I just, I just, it's just not, it's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> just like shock is not fun. What if I knock that brazier over on the gong? That'll probably ring. Uh, that might ring the gong. I'm not gonna. Not gonna risk that. Knocking over braziers is really fun. Okay, so this snake does not see me. That means it's time to shoot it because when they don't see you, you have an almost. You have a way better chance to hit them. Usually, you have a 98% chance. It's so far away that my chance is only 90, but still, that that should be all right. Yes, yes. Go ahead and shoot. Oh, it didn't even kill it. See, now my chance is only 50, uh, which is more like the normal chance. Oh, gosh. That one's really far away. I'll just throw stuff at it. Yes. Oh, sweet. Throwing and I've smoked it. So this is a monolith. Monoliths, I think, are always good. And they give you 20% XP. Why can't other things in the dungeon be always good like monoliths? What? I'm hitting the wrong key on my new keyboard. Oh, oh, whoa. A snake left a corpse? Usually snakes have not left corpses. A snake left a corpse? What does it mean? Are pit vipers extra large? Now this is kind of interesting that this this uh, manuscript is right next to the altar. An altar, um, whoops, what V? An altar boosts the the power of a, a a spell or a scroll that you cast while next to the altar. But I don't need to cast that. That's I don't need to use that scroll. Actually, I wanted to. Well. I was kind of curious if reading this scroll... Oh, no, I, I, don't, I don't know what I was curious about. I was curious if... I don't... Okay. Oh, okay. So, when you get potions, if you look at the details of a potion, the potion will say something like, uh, I have a feeling that if I hold on to this for a while, I'll learn something about it, or, or something like that. The... 
Oh, but I already know about that one. So that's not a valid test. All right. Well, I'll have to find a, a scroll I don't know yet. Um, this is otherwise just a dead end, isn't it? Not going to ring you, Gong. Bank at me again. I'm not sure how good a job I did at searching here, but whatever. So I wasn't paying attention to, to note to make sure. Oh, so there must be a, a door, a secret door I'm missing. There we go. There's one anyway. I wasn't, well, wait, no, those were normal snakes. So I think normally those would not have raised shock when spotting, when I spotted them anyway. So I have to, okay, my shock is at 36%. I think it was even before this turn. So maybe worm masses don't. Let's see. Oh, well, they wouldn't with this mod. So the, the way that you could tell sort of a relative value of how much shock a monster gave you when you spot it is by hitting V to look at it. And then it would have said something like in the, sort of the second paragraph, towards the end of the second paragraph, or yeah, maybe about two-thirds of the way through, it would say something like, it is terrifying to look at, or something like that, or it is unpleasant to look at, or something, or unsettling to look at, you know, so, something like that. And that would be that that uh, that word from the monster's XML, the shock level value would be that word. Uh, but if it's none, then it doesn't bother saying anything. It doesn't. It just doesn't put that sentence in there. So because there's no sentence about what, how you feel looking at it, that means that its uh, its shock has been set to none. So and and I was paying attention. My shock was 36 before I encountered it. It's still 36 now. So the the uh, the anti shock mod, the no monster shock mod, is working. My my noob mod, as I was calling it at some points in in the Discord, um, is working. So that's good. I mean, obviously, it will overall make the game easier because shock is a big pain in the wumpus. I don't really. I, I'm not doing it because I want the game to be easier. I just hate the whole shock mechanic. Like if it if I could make, I guess I have monsters XML. I can just raise the hit points of monsters 10% to compensate. I don't care. But I just, I just, I hate shock. Uh, so there's a wolf. Wolves, again, are normal, natural creatures, so they would not raise shock anyway. It's 95% chance to hit. It doesn't see me, so this wolf is dead. I mean, wolves always growl when you spot them, even if they aren't seeing you. That's just their introduction, basically. So that was a secret, huh? That's kind of weird. There's another secret. I'm getting all XP for all these secrets, though, so that's cool. I didn't even check out this pylon. <coughs> Did I not get... Is the pylon in the way? What's the deal here? I think the pylon's in the way. What is the deal with this pylon? Pylons have been reintroduced to the game. They they were taken out before I started playing, so I don't really know much about pylons. So it doesn't tell me anything about it now. If I bump into it, it'll activate it. Push me back, I'm paralyzed. A coiled pylon repels creatures. Did I just hose myself? I got 8% XP for finding that, but can I, am I gonna have to like creep around the edge of the room? Can I move, t I can't move towards it. The worm mask got pushed around it. I'm probably gonna have to beat this worm mass up. Hey, the worm mask got, so I guess you can get that close to it on a diagonal maybe. Maybe? Oh, this zombie's probably close to me. Oh, O makes noise. I meant to use O to open the door, but I guess I could just nudge into the door. I'm a little worried about this body here because bodies can get reanimated sometimes. These, these reanimated corpse, if you leave their bodies, they will always stand back up pretty quickly. This is just a wolf carcass, so I, I guess that doesn't happen. The game makes you feel that that'll happen. Well, I'm going to kick it anyway. Take that body. I'm going to kick the reanimated carcass as well. Corpse, whatever you want. Kicks do a lot of damage. And they knock back. 
and they paralyze the opponent while they're being knocked back. So it basically, like, something the cultists do to you all the time is they kick you back and then shoot you because they get the next turn. Uh, I guess I could do that here to try to be cool, but... Uh, I'm just going to whack it. Well, what was that message? Oh, nothing special, I guess. I thought I saw something in a different weird color. So shock's at 42%. So even with monsters, like that zombie would normally have given some shock and those worms, I think. Um, even with that, you still you still pick up a fair amount of shock, even with my 20% shock reduction trait that I took. Here's the, oh, don't do that. Don't turn on your light. Molotov, that's good. Stairway down, of course, we want. Now, going into a dark area, it gives you 20% additional shock, but when you leave, that goes away. Because I have the 20% shock resistance boost, it only gave, gave me 16% shock temporarily while I was in the dark. Oh, now we got some oozes. So it doesn't see me. I guess I should take advantage of the 98% hit chance. I it It didn't die. Oh, no, it did, and there's another one. Okay. That's a that's a short little dead end. All right. These worm masses are irritating, man. I could just chop them, but then they just start dividing, and and, and that's where the bad thing about worm masses if if you don't have this uh, Hal's anti shock mod, because when they divide, then it's another worm mass, and that drives your shock up again, and that can keep happening. All of a sudden, your shock is just ballooned just from one worm mass continuing to replicate as you chopped at it. Throwing knives, that's cool. Oh, don't block my root. Don't hit me. So pylons, I don't know, pylons are weird. Oh, the way out is over there. So is that really it? I guess that's all I found. Kind of a puny level. I definitely have a feeling that I probably missed some kind of secret door as I tried to search around the outer walls, but my sum levels can be smallish, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I got pushed by the stupid pylon. Yeah, not not a fan of that pylon, especially. Other pylons have like turned people invisible who are around them, or uh what was another one I saw? Can't remember what the other one I saw did. I'm not gonna chop you, worm mess. I'm just trying to search. Well, okay, you are occupying a square. I want to search. All right, get out of the way. See how it split and multiplied. Well, no. No secret doors there. Oh, gosh dang it. Huh. So my shock is, is still in pretty good shape. It's a small level, so it's not a great measure. But uh, I goofed off slightly. I spent a lot of time searching. See, but now you go into the dark area. I could have turned on my flashlight, of course, which would reduce the shock from the darkness and the normal. So wait, what is that, 75% to 39%? That's pretty hefty. But you only have so much flashlight. Another altar. I wonder if you get an XP bonus for reading a scroll by an altar the first time. Shock is back at zero because I went down down the stairs. Probably gonna be a secret door. There we go. Give me that two percent secret door discovery. I'm wasting turns moving around the outer walls because I want to find secret doors. That would that does you know cause me to incur shock just from extra time passing. Normally I would fret about that, but I'm not fretting about it so much with this modified Monsters XML. So basically that the modification just gives me a little more freedom to, to do stuff that I want to do, to 
that I enjoy doing in the game. Sledgehammer. Sledgehammers are tempting. I mean, my machete's three to 11 plus zero to hit. The sledgehammer has minus 15 to hit, which sounds bad, but Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, paralyze, so I, I would really want a spiked maze. Also, I, I miss, uh, in the previous builds, you didn't get told the, the damage range, you just got told the average damage, which was much easier for me to process, because now I just have to try to compute the average damage in my head, which I don't know, I'm not, you know, I'm not good at, I don't want, my head doesn't want to do that. I mean, it's probably like three high or something. Um, but minus 15% to hit. I don't know. But what? Okay, I'll keep it to throw because they're kind of hilarious to throw. This, I was watching, actually, I was watching the Rogue Love channel playing an old build of the game. I think it was 19.2, whereas this is, what is this, 21 point something? Anyway, it was a, it was a build from like, two or three years ago and in that build melee was much more accurate than it is now now melee your melee attacks are much less accurate than than gun attacks or throwing attacks it's kind of silly so here's a blinded zealot it sees me i guess it does it doesn't have the blue square around it that would mean it doesn't see me I think usually blinded zealots would be a little horrifying to behold because like their eyes are poked out by horrible creatures. Um, so for instance, if I aim my gun, if I switch to my gun and aim it, I don't have any ammo. Brilliant. Uh, this is actually a problem. I'm going to throw my sledgehammer at him. Okay, so for instance, throwing my sledgehammer, 65% chance to hit with a sledgehammer throwing a sledgehammer at a dude across a hallway 65 percent chance to hit what is my chance you might ask to hit it with my machete 60 percent so 60 percent to hit it with the machete i have in my hands in melee combat versus remember that was 60 percent versus if i threw a sledgehammer at it across that space i would have five percent higher chance to hit Remember that the sledgehammer is minus an additional minus 15 to hit. If I equip the sledgehammer, it would tell me my uh, my melee chance to hit what instead of 60, it would be 45, right? Probably. Whereas throwing it, my chance is 65. So at some point, melee got way less accurate. And this is uh, the, the video I was watching was a, a war veteran playing. So, and a, a low-level war veteran. So, yeah, I, uh, melee r r accuracy really got nerfed, and it's kind of bizarre now because you're, you have a much greater chance to hit throwing a sledgehammer or any weapon than actually swinging it. But, you know, go figure. Uh, so, yeah, I hit that dude with that. Oh, no. Well, he turned red. Uh, he didn't get hurt, though. Well... He's probably going to hurt me pretty good. He's got a spiked mace. Um, I do have Azazoth's gaze. It would cause physical and mental devastation and cause him to faint. I don't know if this guy would be susceptible to fainting. Well, let's do it because these guys are mean. Did he faint? He fainted. Well, and I'm just going to beat on him. Maybe I should reload my gun. No, I'm going to beat on him. Will beating on him just wake him up? Let's read his description. Some funky stuff about the thousand-faced moon. I wonder if that's that's probably something that's in, from an actual H.P. Lovecraft book. A lot of the uh, unique uh, boss, like mini-bosses you fight in this game, for instance, seem to be characters, at least the one I looked up was, from an actual H.P. Lovecraft story or, or something. 
so yeah, gouge out its eyes and tongue, a husk of its former humanity, banishing a spiked maze. I think normally you would get some shock from seeing them because their eyes are torn out and they're gross looking, but I'm not sure. But not now with this mod, that's for sure. Uh, fainted, temporarily lost consciousness, will wake up if any damage is taken or enough time passed. So I basically get a free hit. Or I could just back away, but I, I didn't necessarily plan that very well. If I'd been able to do it, I, it would have been good to back away where somewhere where I could stand like five tiles away and have a clear shot at him. But I did not do that. And I can't, I could back up one square, but that wouldn't, that would not. Well, oh, I should reload my gun, that's for sure. Um... I guess I might get one crack at him extra. Yeah. All right, that went well. All right, I I will definitely take the spiked mace. I love spiked maces. They um oh gee. They they give you a 25% chance to stun when they hit and they do a good amount of damage. I get real good results with spiked maces. I, I feel I feel like anyway. Uh so I'm gonna drop my machete. I could keep it around a throw. But they're well I don't know, whatever. I didn't hit with my with my uh sledgehammer. Sledgehammers are really heavy too. I should probably I just I just enjoy being goofball with a throwing sledgehammer because it's so silly that it's so accurate. Well that wolf sees me. It sees me. I guess I'll just throw some knives at it. Or throw the sledgehammer. Can I throw the sledgehammer that far? Ye mm. It's red, so I think that means I can't. Says 50% damage. Do it. Yeah. I killed the wolf from like <laughs> from 60 feet away or whatever that is with a sledgehammer. Uh yeah, I'm pretty much I'm pretty much Superman. I think Superman would do that. There was that alternate Superman who didn't he carry a sledgehammer around? You know that time Superman was supposed to be dead, and there were like five knock off Superman running around. Um, well, but another wolf took its place. Wolves come in packs. This one doesn't see me, so I guess I should shoot it. Because there's nothing like shooting dudes who don't see you. That's what this game teaches me. There's the other wolf. They usually come in threes. Throw some knives at it, I guess. Only 60% chance to hit or 50% to hit with these knives. I mean, the sledgehammer was superior in every way, except that it weighs a ton to carry. Uh, but it doesn't when it's on the floor after you throw it. Yes. What happened? I throw a throwing knife and it vanished. I guess it missed. I guess it doesn't tell you if it misses, huh? Um, okay. Well, throw a friggin' knife at him, too. Oh, I have so many throwing knives, I forgot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you want a knife of your own? 80% hit chance. Heck yes. Oh, he's still alive. Didn't do any damage. I mean, very little. Now it's dead. Well, I mean, at 50% damage reduction, so yeah. Oh, I can't hit him when he's squirming through the wall. Come on. Man, I'm a wizard with these throwing knives. What the heck is what? Northeast? Okay. 
keep hissing. I don't care. Oh, it doesn't pick it up automatically. I guess because I didn't have any left in my inventory. Great. Sprained myself. Kicking a corpse. A rat thing's corpse. Is he in my line of fire? Yes. Yes! I'm on a ridiculous roll with these throwing knives. Ah, oh, and now I'm blind by the snake who saw me and instantly spit into my eyeball somehow. But it can't get me. Oh no, I can just squirm right through there. Well, this sucks. And I'm poisoned. Po oh, I'm not blind anymore though. Well, that wore off fast. Well, time to pull out the get, because I don't want to mess with. Ah! Oh. Is this poison going to straight up kill me? Because that would suck. Okay, it didn't. It could have, probably. Poison sucks. Snakes suck. Oh. There's a tomb. I guess I can somewhat safely open it now, since there doesn't seem to be anything else up here. So even if a horrible ghost that I can't really fight comes out, I can just flee. Here goes. Oh, come on. Air feels colder. That means some horrible ghost came out, as almost always happens. But I can grab the potion, and then there's a horrible thing. Run. Run before it kills me. It only got one of my three spirit points if it had taken all three if it hit me three times instead of just one i would be dead just straight up dead as it is i'm terrified which means i can't melee combat no longer terrified but i can't hit those things anyway very well because i can't see them uh, that's fine oh i didn't there we go that zealot like corpse hiding under my machete almost got away and I sprained myself again. Uh, I guess I'll just rest because I've been spraining myself. Thank you. The spraining is silly. I, I don't enjoy the spraining. Uh, well, that was more wolves than I remembered to count on. I guess I better use some gun. Another wolf. Oh, bummer. If I back up, no, they'll just run around me. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of friggin' wolves. Oh, they ran around me. Yeah, just keep coming, punks. Coming and growling. Oh, there's a cultist with a huge gun. I don't think I want to mess with that gun. That's a shotgun, right? Pump shotgun. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. Um, don't really want to get in a gun battle with a pump shotgun, even though I have a good chance to hit here. I mean, if he hits me, that's going to hurt a lot. So, I'm just going to go here. Now... Oh yeah, spiked mace, I forgot, sweet. Just wait for him here, there he is. The thing is that these guys are dopes and they will not shoot their guns at point blank range, they will just try to hit you with the gun butt. So I'm relatively safe. I have a spiked mace, he has a shotgun butt. He's dead. Now I have his shotgun. The question is always, do you save it or do you use it? I'll, I'll just take it and use it, why not? Okay, loaded up with buckshot, baby. Why did I just pass a turn? Um, nine throwing knives, that's pretty sweet. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I got a potion. So this potion will say, yeah, perhaps keeping it for a while will reveal something about it. And I don't want to drink it without knowing if it's good or bad which is what waiting will tell me because I did that a couple runs back 
I was doing pretty well for me. And I chugged a potion, a green potion, and it turned out to be a poison potion. It turned out to be a poison potion that would not stop poisoning me. And it just, it just, I had way more hit points than I do now. I had hit point regeneration. It didn't matter. It just ate through all my hit points and killed me. That sucked. Actually, I didn't let it kill me. I, I tried casting a spell that would have, what, put it off a little or something? I forget, but uh, the spell killed me, which was just as well because the poison was going to kill me in another turn anyway. Uh, the spell killed me because the spells take spirit points and they take a random number of spirit points. For instance, as is off gaze, you see there a spirit point SP 4 to 8. So it takes 4 to 8 spirit points to cast. I currently have three spirit points. So if I tried casting Azazoth Gaze, I would be instantly dead 100% because it takes at least four spirit points. So if you get reduced to zero spirit points or below, you die. Actually, I'm not even sure. No, it would let me try to cast it and I would just die. Um, if I had like five spirit points, there would be a chance I wouldn't die because it might take only four of them. But if it took five, six, seven, or eight, I would die. So anyway, that's that's how spell casting goes, I guess. My character is not a spellcaster. That's what an occultist is. And that's the way I prefer to keep it. I just want to shoot stuff and kick stuff and throw, throw sledgehammers at stuff. I'm a simple, simple man. Admiral Chud may actually be a woman, though. Which is cool. 20% XP is cool. Still only level 1. There's another gong. I'm not going to hit you, gongs. I know your game. I ain't falling for that nonsense again. Not going to do it. Here, I'm wasting all kind of exploring time, but I got the anti-shock mod, so that's fine. Shock is climbing. I was in a dark area momentarily, and I went into the purple. Purple indicating 75% shock or higher. And I still have not found the stairway down. Oh, two tombs. See, now I'm wasting shotgun blasts on putrid uses. Can they? No, oh, they'll spot me. Oh, whatever. Popping into that purple shock. Why did I pop there? Oh, shoot. Well, he didn't hit me. Shock is up to 65. Oh, he dropped a potion right on me. Cool. Okay, two tombs. I'm not going to hit them until I find the stairway down. Oh, come on. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. There we go. I, spider, like, how do you... Uh, I guess... I could hit it and I don't know. Better check what's down here before I do anything rash. Dark area, shock's at 86. So I still have to worry about shock. This sucks. Wow, where is the freaking... Stairway. Uh, some of these rooms are annoying, you know. Oh, there's Tommy gun ammo. Oh, I'm going to have to sprain myself kicking that thing open. Hey, I didn't sprain myself. 
getting better. Oh no, why did I do that? Right through the rattling chains. Right at, uh, yeah. well, That's a big waste of time, huh? All right, snakes. Hold your scales. I may not be able to get back to those tombs. Actually, let me check this pit viper out. It doesn't say they're big. What am I doing? Gotta throw my sledgehammer at it. Only 60% hit chance, 70% with the shotgun. All right. Yeah, I just got more shotgun ammo. Where is this freaking stairway, man? There it is. Ah, uh, how is it in my view? There, there are weird visibility quirks. I should take a screenshot of that. I just sent him one. I bet he's squirming through a wall. Yeah, well, he must be, yeah. Yeah, I'll take a screenshot. It's something to do with them squirming through a wall. It lets you see them when they're squirming, and I don't know if that's because you, like... It says it's in my... Yeah, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little messy. Um, oh yeah, I have a print screen that button on my, on this keyboard has a print screen button that it's actually, it actually works. Well, wait, my last keyboard just didn't have a print screen button. Uh, the last, the last wireless one I was trying. So get a screenshot of that. Just gonna, just give me a sec here to, so I can save this screenshot to add to a bug report I filed about this visibility issue. It's super exciting, I know. Uh, give me my ancient version of Photoshop. Photoshop 4. Not Creative Edition 4, not CE4, just plain 4. Okay. Okay, what's the best way to tackle this snake? It doesn't see me. I see it somehow. I guess it doesn't have my look around walls power, but it will see me. I can't shoot it from here, obviously, because my while my eyeballs do not obey standard uh, collision detection, my shotgun apparently still does. So I can't really take advantage of the fact that it doesn't see me yet. I guess I should just move up into the corner so I have extra shot at it. Well, are you coming? Oh no, I accidentally just shot at the wall. Are you coming or not, you stupid snake? Gosh. Ah. Uh. Uh, I think even if I shot at it now, because it's in the wall, I would not be able to hit it. I'm not 100% sure about that. What am I doing? I'm trying to hit F. Yeah, no, it's red, so I can't shoot it. I think I can hit it with my mace. I mean, potentially. What is my chance to hit it? 98%, so it should work. Uh, come on. There we go. Jeepers. Ah. It sees me, so I don't have the big bonus. 40%. It's dark in here. Shooting it is 70%. See, see that difference to hit? I don't have any particular firearm or melee skills over above with the standard skills that the war veteran starts with. But 70% hit chance. Well... The uh, the spiked mace does have a minus what ten percent yeah so it would really be minus it would it would really be 
six is 60% melee versus 70% uh, shotgun, whatever, point blank, ah, okay, try not to, period of P for disarm, period for the square under my feet, and there's, I've started to notice that traps come in pairs, so there's the second one, I disarmed the one under my feet, there's a second one right next to it. Traps suck. That's another thing I would love, just to just take traps out of the game. Either that or make them strategic, tactical, and visible, like they are in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, where you know what they'll do, and they'll do something like teleport you, so you use like a random escape route, which, you know, who knows exactly what that could do, but it's interesting. Stuff like that. Just random hidden stuff that'll hit you and that you have to use some obscure non-skill to get rid of is not not really cool. Violet Potion. Hey, I made it to level 2. 8% XP for finding of... That's, that's good XP. Okay, so I could get another... This is the second shock resistance thing. You can just take another 20% shock resistance, which I will do at some point, because I hate shock, and I'm still getting shock, even with this anti-shock monster mod. Um, the other thing I do want to take, though, is the regeneration one. And is, is it going to show me the... There's one that makes you immune to terrify and gives you plus 10% shock resistance. There it is, fearless. That's handy to have as well. I think for now I'll take the recovery one. I haven't been taking a ton of damage this on this floor though. So if I was really wanted just to deal with shock directly, I would take courageous. Ah. Uh, but I do like rapid recover, so we're going to take that for now. And now I forget if I already looked down this hallway. I hadn't. I don't think You can't see it, but I'm leaving my mouse pointer in annoying positions right on the screen for some reason. Oh, wait, how do I even get in there? What the heck? Oh, I did miss a secret somewhere. Wait a second, what is that blue square? It wasn't even, it was a, uh, what's my shock at, 84? I mean, I could just blow my way through the wall. Oh, see, now I'm over 100% because I was at 80 exactly. Gosh dang, shock. Stupid shock. I hate shock. Oh, so it was that door that I had to hit the lever for on the far side of the level. And that is that. Now I have three potions, well, four, that I have not learned anything about yet. Should have it eventually. Oh, my my weight is at 92. I think I'm just going to go ahead and drop the smoke grenades because I don't, I don't know, they, they weigh a lot for grenades and I never find myself compelled to use them because I don't really know how. I mean, you know, they make a smoke screen, so I guess if, people were following you that you didn't want to follow you anymore, you could throw one there. I don't know, whatever. Too, too, uh, too subtle for me. Just give me explosives. Shock's back to zero. Depth three, character level two. I should be searching the outer wall. Not running into the chains. Uh, still, I'm using VI, VI keys input method, and I'm, the keys are slightly f spaced farther apart, so that's my excuse for not for being a little, a little clunkier than I even usually am with them. So that was a weird little thing down there with nothing in it. I feel like 
Maybe I missed something there. You don't have, I don't think you, you for sure spot everything, every secret that you walk by, there's, there's a chance you could still miss it. I'm hitting the wrong keys, don't hit those chains. Probably some snakes or something around here. Ah, why? I'm leaning on my Yi key, I guess. This is a weird... Oh, finally found a secret. This is a weird area, man. Look at this. It's kind of unusual. Okay, violet potions are benign. Well, I, I shouldn't drink one he, uh, this close to a, like a monster could wander up there and who knows what state I could be in, but they're benign, so it should be fine, right? So let's just drink it and see what it is. Potion of fortitude, resistant to confusion, fear resistance, sleep resistance. So if I ever find one of those again, I'll know what it is. For now, I at least have some resistances, which Probably won't be called upon, but you never know. Filth and decrepitude. Does that mean that oh okay, it's the glossu. Glossus, I think, are the stink the stink bombs. Oh man, it just knocked him in the buns a little and didn't barely scratch him. Didn't barely scratch him. Uh I guess I'll just run up to him and chop him. They're not good at hand to hand. They drop oozes. There we go. Revolver bullets. Hey. Secret potion. Murky potion. Oh my. When did I get. Ah, uh, did I get infected from the oozes or the gloss? Ugh. I'm not sure what that getting worse means. It doesn't actually change status yet, so I guess it's just a warning. Medical bag time. There we go. Ain't. Ain't. Early 1900s medical science grand. Oh, it's a way down. That's good. Oh, it's a wolf right in front of me. Time to chop. Gosh dang. Am I hitting these wolves at all? I swiftly swap to a pump shock and I fire, the wolf misses me, I fire, the wolf was hit. So I missed once, fired twice, only hit once, the wolf dies, the wolf misses me twice, I fire, that was a miss, I fire, that was another miss. So I, I just took four shots and I missed three of them. Cool. Spiked mace time. Or I could throw stuff. Because look, chance to hit. 40%. Throwing my sledgehammer. This is the secret skill. 60%. 40% versus 60%. I'll take the 60. Let's do it. Yeah. And you do have to take a turn to pick up the sledgehammer. But whatever, man. It's the best. Sledgehammer. It's so silly. It's so silly. Why is melee so inaccurate? What did melee do to anybody that caused it to, its accuracy to get nerfed so ludicrously? Oh, why I keep leaning on my E key. It's 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 me and the new keyboard and and laziness. Um, it's not the new keyboard. It's me. No, it is a new keyboard because this new keyboard, like I said, my old my previous wireless keyboard I was trying out, um, was this Logitech thing that was like a play school. It just big super thick chunky plastic and uh so the keys required a well it's funny they required more i guess that's what it is they, they had more travel you know you had to push them down farther before they would activate but this uh it's an rtech keyboard 
these are all just things I get off of Amazon. Artec makes these really thin keyboards with these cool, thin mechanical keys. At least they say they're mechanical. I'll trust them. Uh, although the keys on this keyboard feel a lot like on the previous Artec keyboards, the older Artec keyboards I've had, you um, when you press them, you could feel the wiggle. You could kind of feel the the, the springs engaging. On this one, it's a lot tighter, so you don't really feel anything. You just feel kind of a, a firm pressure. But they say it's still a mechanical switches, so, you know, whatever. There's still a ways to go up there, yeah. Sanity's still good, or shock's still good, 14%. So I'm not getting shock from these oozes and so forth because of the mod. It's a big old room. Are there going to be any any friends in here? Any buddies? Any, uh, you know, skulking, lurking horrors? There's a pylon. There's a statue that looks like a thing. It misses. Oh, no, there's an invisible thing. It misses me. That's not good. There it is. Whatever it is. At least it's not. No, it is sucking my spirit. Well, oh, great. Get my 8% XP for that. So it's just a huge room with a ghost and a pylon and two statues. I wonder if I could kick a statue onto a ghost. That would be pretty awesome, considering I can't see the ghost. <sighs> Accelerates creatures. Well, so it accelerated everybody. And what's the point, really? Well, we'll see how long it lasts, I guess, is the point. But these pylons, uh, they just seem a little goofy. So I think if I move this far... Oh no, it's still following me. I'm going to die in this stupid ghost. It's hasted too, I'm sure. All my haste already wore off. I wonder if it's if its haste had lasted longer than mine because maybe proximity to the pylon or something, that would have been real bad. doesn't seem to be catching up to me or anything. Kind of an interesting packed layout to these rooms here. Okay, please don't still be following me, ghost. No longer terrified. Good. So that was just a huge room with a pylon and a ghost. That's kind of funny. My spirit's back. That's good. In case we run into another freaking ghost. Shock. Shock 23%. Like, these wolves are just hanging out behind the door because, like, is this hallways? There's just, like, a lot of wolf poop and fur. Chance to hit the ghost is 40%. Chance to shoot the ghost, or the ghost. The wolf is... Oh, I forgot to reload, so zero. And the chance to throw the sledgehammer <laughs> into the wolf is 60%. Sledgehammer... Killed it, and the other ghost moves two tiles and is instantly in place. And I don't have my sledgehammer. Because it is underneath the wolf's paws. Uh, I could throw potions that I have not identified. I could throw throwing knives for two to six damage. That would almost certainly not kill a wolf. I guess I'll just club it with my spiked mace. I missed. I hit. And the wolves are all dead. I think that's all the carcasses. The carci. That's not correct. Get my amazing sledgehammer of doom. Nobody can avoid its deadly reach as it whirls through the air gracefully. Ah, these stupid worms. The uh, the old 19.2 build that the Rogue Love channel was describing, he said that he, he was playing, he tried playing a Rogue build, and he said that the description for daggers in that build 
said that you get a 300% damage bonus to use them against unaware opponents. This now, that has been lowered since then. Now it's only 200% damage bonus. Or 200% damage. So at some point, dagger backstabs got nerfed. Unless the overall da dagger damage just got raised, which is quite possible, in fact. So I don't know. Just thought that was interesting. Um, search around the walls. Stupid worms. Already regenerated. Whatever damage you dealt me, shift him. Oh, there's intestines, though. So they... I guess I saw some earlier. Uh... Oh, yeah, they can't see either. These, though, don't... 60% chance to hit melee. I still haven't reloaded my gun. That is, that is pure sloppiness. Gotta use the sledgehammer, then. 80%. Give me that. Oh no, it didn't hit him. Ah, uh, okay. Let's uh, let's reload the gun for once. Oh, no more ammo. Oh. Well, I have ammo for two guns that I don't have guns for, and I have the Colt. Ah. Can't just hit Jesus. Oh, that's a Colt magazine. Where's the Colt? Colt is S. Yes, that's fine. Um, let's. I don't have much. Well, no, I'll have twenty percent more weight when I pick that sledgehammer up. Drop the shotgun. Okay. Oh, fifteen percent. It's okay, though, because chances are if I ever find more shotgun ammo, I, it will come alongside an actual shotgun. Smoke grenade, no thanks. I really want to push this brazier over on these worms, but that would the flames would just slow me down, too. Ah. Stupid worms. I'm trying to search. Okay, you're... You're getting it. Am I deafened? Why am I not hearing sounds all of a sudden? Good sound. Wormy, wormy worms. Um, I guess that's it for up there, huh? I guess that's the level. Hmm. These levels have felt a little small, but that's just how random generation works, I suppose. Which, like, I wonder if the generator tries to allocate a certain amount of XP gain that you could get. I'm not, I don't think it is that sophisticated. I don't think it does that. I think you can just you know, get given a, a smaller level that does not have as much XP. And so that's kind of rough. Oh, come on. Where did you jerks come from? Well, you're going to get sledged. Yeah, half damage, whatever. Killed it. <laughs> half damage sledgehammer. That's 100% damage as far as a wolf is concerned. Ah, stupid wolf. Stupid colt. Only one bullet left in this mag. I'm just going to shoot it. Oh, another wolf. I'm not going to use more bullets. Let's throw out the dagger. 50%. That sucks. Why is the sledgehammer so much better? Actually, I didn't look at what the sledgehammer was. Throwing knife, 75% to hit. What? What did I just move the... Uh, hit. Okay. 
Well, you're getting hand to hand. Oh no. Come on. Where did that other wolf come from? Am I doomed to die from these? Oh no. Uh, let's aim at the one right in front of our face. How about that? I, what the heck? How did I suddenly get surrounded by wolves? They could not have got around me. I was standing in this corridor. Come on. Really no need for that since... But that was ridiculous. I gotta say, that was, that was really goofy. Did it just generate wolves on both sides of me, like, randomly? Is that just a, a team thing it does? I mean, what's going on there? Oh, wolves, man. The growling, the snarling, the moving twice as fast as me. I don't like them. I don't mind them normally, but when they suddenly somehow get all around me like that, 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 is, uh, that is concerning. Still pretty low level two, character level two, and now I'm at depth four. Hey, a secret is revealed. Behind the mossy wall. I guess I'll go check it out. Let's go check it. What? I have never seen hallucinogenic mold before. I've seen mold mold. I mean, it's just called mold. Um, which is green. This is orange. Uh? No XP gain for seeing hallucinogenic mold. Just looking back to see if I somehow forgot that I saw hallucinogenic mold earlier in this run. I did not. Maybe I'm not getting any XP for, or maybe this just doesn't track it. Oh, this doesn't track XP reward. Which is too bad. Uh, so I did, I'm going to have to retake the f screenshot from the video, but... Uh, No XP for HAL mode. Not to be confused with HAL's mod. Oh, not mold. Okay, come on. Okay. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I don't know. It seems weird. Oh my gosh. There's a ghost in here. How? how why? I'm going to have to bust through this mold unless I'm hallucinating that ghost, but that seems un. Oh no! What is it? What is this? I'm going to die. I think maybe the... Mm, no, I did see a bloat before, I think. Didn't I? Now I'm thinking maybe I just am not getting XP rewards for monsters because of the... Uh... <laughs> The mod. I could have sworn I did earlier, though. Oh, and a trap right there. And now I'm hallucinating. That's fine. 
Uh, well, I'm going to let this trap go off because, you know, it'll hit more of them than it, than me. Blind, that's fine. I couldn't see these things anyway. I guess it might have blinded all of them. Yeah, I hit him. I hit it. Was it a dust vortex or is that a hallucination? I mean, who knows? Well, it sounded like I smoked somebody. Not blinded anymore. There's nobody there. Close the door. I should probably just throw dynamite in there. To heck with everybody. Although, I don't know if I can, I can't really back up far enough to get out of range of it, can I? Well, what the heck. Guess what you're in range of, you unseen horror. Stick of dynamite. Oh, maybe I just killed it. Well, that's fine. Where's the big kaboom? There it is. So were these all dusk vor vortices? Or is that the hallucination? I don't remember dusk vortices being invisible. Look at that wreckage. You guys want a piece of me? Well, I blinded myself on my own smoke. I guess I could put my gas mask on. I didn't really do that. Nito crease. I have never seen this. And I got no XP. So I think... I think XP gain must be tied to... No, that doesn't make sense, because I think even when you're playing normally, you get... Oh, it's a hallucination, right? I mean, I'm hallucinating everything at the moment. Well, what does it say? Mummified 6th Dynasty Egyptian Pharaoh Nitocris. How she came to dwell here is beyond anyone's guess. Her name is found in the histories of Herodotus and writings of Men Menetho. According to the writings of the former, she took the throne by inviting her brother's murderers to a banquet. They kill, then killed them. That's not great grammar. Then killed them by flooding the sealed room with the Nile. Oh, that's a pretty good flood. Remembers hostile creatures for a very long time. I kind of want to just throw another stick of dynamite into that room because there was all that mold. Or maybe, maybe, uh, and this, what is this trap? Smoke trap. Maybe, um, a Molotov. Nito Chris is burning down, down, down. I hope I don't get caught on fire here. Destroyed. That suggests to me that that was not actually a special super character. Oh, man. What was that? The, I'm out of Colt ammo? <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, I got no gun anymore. That's cool, I guess. Not really. Uh, I left my, uh, I left my sledgehammer behind, well, on a previous level, I guess, didn't I? 
because I didn't throw it at anybody here. Or is it in there? No, I don't think I did. Oh, heck. That was a long hallucination. Mold's all gone. It's very quiet all of a sudden. Zero percent shock. Clotted potions are bedine. Bedine? I have two of them. Let's drink one. Potion of spirit. Now I could cast that, um, Azazoth's gaze. So I have 14 spirit. I think that'll wear off soon now. Yeah, it's already down to 11. There's nobody here. Ah, oh, web, come on. Misty potions are benign. Okay. Cool, that lasts for like five turns. Yeah, there we go. It's a tomb. There's something in here. Bloated corpse. Now, I think I did see one. Oh, there's no gun ammo. Uh. Why is it turning purple? Oh, I stunned it. Oh, that hurt. Why you don't want to run out of gun ammo. Shock is up to 42%. From Oh, I wasn't... Yeah, I wanted to see if actually just you taking damage does raise your shock, and I certainly kind of looked that way. I wish I still had my sledgehammer. Uh... Oh, is he dead? This is running a little thin. So this monster mod... Mm, I got two wounds? Shoot. shock come from black jacket that could be useful if mine gets broken Oh, dark areas. Winchester. I have decided I hate Winchesters, and I'm not going to mess with them. I never seem to be able to do anything useful with them. I just get myself messed up trying to switch to them. Well, that was a big detour. Oh, come on. Didn't get me. Oh, I still have my gas mask on. Hilarious. What is it? Having the gas mask on gives you a minus to hit, doesn't it? Yeah, minus hit, 10% hit, minus 6% searching. Let's take that off. Oh, and yeah, they're time limited. Can't hit the tomb yet. 
Uh oh, what does that mean? What's up here? Oh, bloat. One of those hurt me real bad before. I don't know if that was melee or spitting or. Oh, I don't know. Hey, a lantern. It. It's another small level. Maybe this is the game has detected the mod and uh, is punishing me. Slowest creatures, including me. I've seen that before. I don't remember it being star shaped. Those are just rocks, not my. Uh, oh, you know what takes these out is a lantern. Hey, buddy. How do you like my... Oh, there's... Yeah, get some light. There you go. So, yeah, I'm definitely not getting XP for monsters now. So, that's the trade-off there, I guess. How do I like that? I don't know, I get X more XP because I can search more, maybe. Well, <clears throat> no, no horrible monster came out. Manuscript to terrify. Overpowering feeling of dread in the spell's victims. One random visible hostile creature. Six to twelve turns. Mm. Yeah, I, uh, I will probably end up underpowered thanks to this mod, I suppose. That sucks. E. I suppose the designer is laughing. At least I think that's what it is. I'll have to try it in another run. I mean, possibly something's just weird with this character. That seems pretty unlikely. Not on level three on depth five. That's not terrible, in fact. I don't think. Not for me. Uh, so at this point I should either take Courageous, since I am still being somewhat bothered with Shock, slightly, or I could take this. That would probably be a little more useful right now. Cannot become terrified, plus 10% Shock Resistance. Maybe I won't need this final 20%. Probably didn't really need that one either, but not being terrified is handy, especially if you like melee like I do, even though melee is weirdly inaccurate. I mean, of course, I should take, you know, like, melee expert. But I got my fear resistance. I kind of forget what mindworms do. Heavy disorientation. Well, I don't like that, and normally I would shoot it. But I don't, oh, I could throw something at it. Uh, I could throw my spiked mace. No. I didn't realize dagger, the dagger is so low damage. Wow, that was, that was a, that was a heck of a sound hit. So suit, uh oh. Jeez. 
Jeez. Seventy percent chance to hit. Hey. I better close on this guy because he'll be spitting at me. I'm just about out of throwing stuff. Oh, shit. Now my spirit's back to normal, so I can't cast a spell without risking dying. How many of these jerks are there? Oh, of course I got wounded. Ow! Broke the door down. Ah, oh, shoot. Hi. Ow. I'm going to die. I ran him by a lot. He wounded me again. That spit is ridiculous. What the heck? Oh, I have a manuscript. Um, man, how is there no ammo? I'm fighting people without ammo. I mean, who don't have ammo? Uh... Where can you throw these things anyway? Oh, here he comes. Oh, he doesn't see me. That's handy. I forgot to fix my wound. Oh, I'm going to die. Look at that hit he put on me. Ah, uh, I forgot to cure the wound. There is no ammo. So, I was actually doing okay on XP, but I don't think I was getting XP from the creatures. Let's just check that again. Can't do a question mark. Oh. So five percent XP. Okay. This is getting weird. Secret, that gets me up to seven percent. Gosh dang it. Where is everybody now? This is getting really weird. Wow. I just rolled a no creatures out. Okay, there we got wolves. I got 9% XP. Where did that other 2% come from? Was it from the wolves? Did I miss something? I mean, did I miss it giving me XP from something? Is it just not giving me the XP messages? Mm, I didn't get XP from them. And I'm probably gonna die. Mm. 
Jeez. Yeah, I get an XP from stuff, but not monsters, because I think it's broken. Maybe, uh, no, it must be the monsters. Yeah. Wait, 17%. Five percent sledgehammer, yeah. So it's only five percent. Oh, I killed the desk. Oh, no. Ah, uh, playing with fire. Find a zealot still turning in. Yeah, I'm not getting XP for spotting these guys. Well, what am I doing? That zealot's going to kill the heck out of me. Well, maybe he really didn't see me. Sledgehammer. Oh, we still alive. Oh, he's dead. Well, yeah, it sure doesn't look like I'm getting XP for monster discoveries. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, because I was 30%, 5% from going down this level. What did I do? Did I hit caps lock? Yes. Oh, what? Behind me already? How? Stop growling, you curs. Oh, now I got the worm. See, that didn't give me any XP. Out of my way, uh. I went up to fifty percent XP. How did I do that? get wounded. Fifty eight percent XP, so I am getting XP rewards, it's just not printing them. I think. Cause I just went to, from fifty to fifty eight. Wow. 
I just don't have how many pistols do I carry now? Got a revolver, a pump shotgun, four smoke grenades. Drop the grenades. Um <laughs> Come on, where do you wolves come from? Wow. Oh, bother. You worms stop trying to act tough. That's weird. I don't think I got XP for that. And I don't think I'd seen one of those. Oh, but if they're natural creatures, you wouldn't have XP from them anyway. I wonder if uh, maybe there was some entry in Monsters XML that controls XP reward or scaling or something for Monsters. Maybe something under the player entry. What a wacky level. Okay, 65% XP. There's got to be some new creatures that, yeah, I loosened a jagged mole. That did not give me anything. Still 65%. this before I think I don't think I saw rat things before but no they would I'm somehow doing this all wrong. Not, oh no, I missed a spot down there. Not counting this XP thing, but it's weird, man. I could swear there were some times where it's just a regular cultist. Oh wait, I don't have a revolver, do I? Oh no, I do. I don't think I'd seen a bloated course before. I didn't get XP for that. I'm annoyed that I got killed by those guys, but I mean, I'm gonna 
probably be ending up under level if Oh, these guys are mean. I wish I had the Tommy gun equipped. Shoot. Ah. Uh. So dead. I got 1% XP from something. <laughs> Paralyzation fountain. Crawling intestines, no XP there. That was a waste. Great. Cursed from I oh, didn't even search it. Yeah, I made it to level two and I'm on uh no, let's do operator uh, cover. So two on depth three, uh, you know, I probably didn't wait to get Is this curse gonna go away? Good. 10% XP, depth 4. That's definitely probably a bit low. Uh, oh man, it hit the desk. That sucked. Ah, oh, jeez. Workbench, rather. Oh, I should have known. Eighteen percent. Three percent. I mean, now I'm just diving. Where's it? Oh. Premonition. What does that do? Oh yeah, extremely difficult for assailants to hit. Okay, uh, manuscript terrifying. 
23%. There's a Raven. Don't think I saw them before, but they don't usually cause shock. Would you normally get XP? This one can see me. That's bad. 30% hit chance. Jeez. No pecking my eyes out, jerk. Uh, I might just wait a while before until it forgets me. Oh boy. Oh boy. What did I do? I uh, I did something extremely dumb. I think I didn't throw the. I'm gonna die. Blind and burning. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me try one more of this because it's, it's weird. Another another very empty dungeon. Come on, guys. What the heck? So cultus Cultist priests and spitting cobras. did not want to regenerate uh so yeah I need spider web 1% xp blinding trap 1% xp ah oh you just disarm spider webs with the p button I see Now, a rat thing would almost certainly normally have given me XP. Because they're not normal. So this was part of that. Uh, oops. Just wonder. Here's the player. Hit points, spirit, speed, shock level. 
nine. But that would be expected, I suppose. I mean, I guess there are spoilers in here. <laughs> um, is there anything for XP reward for these critters, like a zombie? Spirit shock level. No. Yeah, I don't see anything about how much XP, like setting a separate XP gain for monsters, so maybe it is based on the shock level. Well, ain't that a trip. Expert. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh. Uh, so, um, it might. If we go back to the original monsters, XML. And we'll run this baby. What I suppose I should do is generate a new one just to make sure I didn't miss anything else, but I did a diff. Ah, heck. Things text bad. Pretty sure I did. I checked the differences between the two, and then all there was was the, uh, shock level. So here I am back with the original file, the original Monsters XML. Okay, I can't. Uh, so let's see difference. Do I get XP from normal animal creatures? I don't think I do. I, I guess I don't. But you would, well, maybe it just figures you've seen those before in your regular life. Okay, there's nobody here again. Why am I getting all these, are levels always like this? Cool. 
object control scroll. Uh, gosh, this is arg. Where where are my monsters? Monsters. I got thirteen percent XP. Something hisses. Probably just a snake. Can't open the door. I mean, snakes can't. Where's oh, where's my snake? Come on. Okay, there's got to be somebody there. Reanimated corpse. I'm at thirteen percent XP. Discovered a reanimated corpse. Five percent XP. So I was not getting those messages. For I mean, with the mod. Searching thoroughly. Oh yeah, it automatically hits stuck doors now. That was something the developer did after I complained about them. I didn't necessarily ask him to do that, but I I guess I did actually. But no, who knows? Um because you could, in theory, kill yourself on one of those doors, but you can kill yourself all kinds of ways. Ah, uh, hey! Well, here's your trick, buddy. Oh, uh, in the 19.2 build that I was watching Rogue Love play, the note for the W key, which is what you use to kick, at the end said WHAM! Exclamation point. So I think the W was meant to sort of stand for WHAM. When you kick things, wham, that's, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to wham this guy. And then shoot him, because that's what cultists do to you. So there, there's your trick, buddy. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay, but I I wasn't paying attention. Did I get XP for the cultists? I don't think I did. Oh, no, I missed with my kick. Oh no, the zombie got in the way of the kick. Uh, and I'm still cursed. I didn't think this through very well. Oh. Uh, 21% XP. There's some worm masses. Is that going to give me XP? No. Okay. Maybe I saw one earlier. I don't know. Oops. Tommy Worms, thirty eight per cent XP. Well, that's kind of level, except for the stairs. Shock is kind of high. Great. Didn't get any XP for the Raven. I don't think. I'm not really paying attention correctly. I'm so bad at this. 46% XP. Stairway down. 51% XP. See, but now I'll forget. I should really start over, because I'll forget if I've seen such and such a creature before on the previous floor. Of 
course you can scroll down, but it doesn't show you discovery messages, does it? No. It doesn't sh it shows you XP bonuses for other things, but not monsters. It's kind of XP for the Zealot, because they're weird looking, right? Yeah, unsettling, unsettling to behold. Mm, so, yeah. There's a crawling hand, plus 5% XP. Oh no, those hands are really hard to hit, I forgot. Ow, wounded, jeez. That's a pretty bad situation, because these things... 40% hit chance. Great. He's gonna kick me. I know I'm gonna die. Oh, I didn't die. Oops. Uh, it's always F. Come on. F for the old med bag. I already have one of these, don't I? Yes. Ooh, malign potion, eh? Guess I could throw that at somebody. Oh, I forgot to look at the hand description, but of course I could read that out of the monster XML probably. Um, or just look in the monster XML for, but of course it, yeah, it gives you. So yeah. Oh. I suppose I should keep the machete to throw, but who really cares? Um, so, yeah, it sure looks like a sledgehammer, baby. So we can drop the machete. Wolf looks wary. A wolf is in my view. I don't think I saw wolves before, did I? And I didn't get XP. Let's just make sure there's nothing about wolves in here before. Yeah. Yeah, so XP you get from monsters is directly tied to how much... How disturbing they are, how much shock you get from them. Gosh, dang it, it's a lot of wolves all of a sudden. What if I close this door? Ha, ah, stupid wolves. Now what are you going to do? <coughs> yeah, you're going to get shot. Through this screen, you can't get me. Nya, nya, nya. Oh. You can't get me. I just wasted turns there and drove up shock. Um, and I'll surprise you all by going out this way. Oh no, a raven, and it sees me. I'm going to die. Ravens are terrible. Look at this. Chance to hit in melee, 20%. Chance to hit with a gun, 40%. How about my famed, world-famous throwing sledgehammer, 30%. Take that. Did it kill it? It killed it. <laughs> you can't beat the, th the throwing sledgehammer. No matter what the odds... It finds a way to win. Hey, that got me. No, I died. I mean, I got blinded. Ow. 
Uh, can I kick it? I'll never hit it with a kick. Oh, gosh. Wow, how many times can it blind me when I'm already blind? I guess it, it gets three picks in a turn, man. Look at this. A raven is just going to straight up kill me to heck. Uh, what are you supposed to do? You can't hit the darn things. I could throw a potion at it. Wait. Oh, yeah. See? Ah. Uh. I guess that didn't hit it. There's probably something else. I mean, I could try to run. I could have done something with a explosive. Of course, I can't run from the Raven. They're too fast. Yeah, Ravens are terrifying. If they get right up in your grill, what are you supposed to do? Well, that didn't actually help me because I wanted to see... I shouldn't I should go to bed. Um the Yikes always throw me off. No XP there from the Mamba. Because they're normal critters with no shock. So that uh, that takes some of the starch out of my no shock mod. I would still probably go with it, I guess, because in fact then I would feel less cheap in a way. I guess, I don't know. But, uh, not that that matters, but, uh, and I just hate shock. So even though I, I'm not getting all that XP for discovering creatures. You only get that once per, oh, I'm really doing a dumb thing here, aren't I? You only get to discover a, a species once, whereas you have to fight them a ton of times. Um, or, well, you see a ton of them. You keep seeing them. You keep getting each shock you see them. Uh, more shock each time you see them. You only get the XP bonus once, so it probably works out okay. I don't know. Man, you worms. Just going to have to knee-high mud. Wow. Just trying to get a feel for, um, like how much, what level I should be at, you know, normally, with normal XP reward. Oh shoot, the raven's gonna kill me. Oh hey. Oh, did I, did I, did I leave, oh no, I already died. Didn't get another. Uh, so is there only a raven in that room? Because that's not worth going in there for. A raven will just straight up kill me. Was there a raven? Am I hallucinating? Am I hallucinating ravens? I am hallucinating raven. Raven's on the brain. through whatever message it was. It wasn't, it couldn't have been XP reward. Oh, sweet. So that's the only way I can hit Ravens is if I get them by surprise because then I can actually have a chance to, a decent chance to hit them. I... No, gosh darn it. 
Shock is getting up there, even with these non-threatening creatures. Oh boy, I'm dead. <laughs> these ravens, man. Uh, I mean, probably I could get one with a Molotov burning myself a bit. I mean, you ought to be able to, as long as I'm not blind yet, right? Oh no, I'm going to get blinded. Yep. Now, now I won't be able to hit him. No. Oh, I'm not blind anymore. 35% hit chance. Jeez. God, they're just terrifying. Shock is up. See now, this is normal. Shock levels, and I'm up to 91%, so I don't really, I basically have to bail, even though I haven't explored quite all of the map. So I'm 50% through level one at depth two. So maybe it still works out with the Uh, no XP from monsters discovery probably still works out in your favor Ooh. oh dang it oops that was not great in fact, that was pretty bad. Oh, man. Yeah, that was real bad. It's funny how you can't outrun these zombies. Like, they're pretty fast. Also, I'm infected, so that may not help. Oh, I got a little ground on him. <laughs> Get those doors, boys. Oops. Five turns. They're really knocking on that door. They can't get that second door. Wow, that's weird. I need all my health back. Well, close enough. I guess they just went, they broke that door and went home, or maybe they went up. There they are. Whoops. Oh wow, he, he respawned before I could even get up to the corpse and then his his guts came out. 10% XP, man. Don't get that with that silly mod. My own silly mod that I asked for, sort of. I, I can't I disclaim response, some responsibility. Most of the responsibility wouldn't have happened without me whining. And I host myself. I'm hitting wrong buttons. Ugh, no. Hitting more wrong buttons. Manuscript to teleport. Oh, no. And I'm confused. And there's a black mama right next to me. It didn't seem to see me. It moved. No, it said it saw me, but then it moved away. Is it confused by me appearing here? Oh... Uh, it says 65% hit chance. I'm confused, but I'm confused about that, too. But whatever. Shock's at 76% already. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah, I'm blind from the cobra. I got a trap under me. 
I should probably not, you know, I'm just running around like a moron right now trying to get a gauge on, a quick gauge on XP and level gain or floor depth and all that, but of course, not getting a real good view running around like an idiot, because I wouldn't be playing quite the same way normally. Down. I would be probably finding more secrets. Not hurrying. Well, he seems surprised. I guess there's another one up there. There you are. I did find the stairs, didn't I? Yep. Better turn on my light. That took shock way down. Was I in a dark area? I guess I was. Hmm. 90% shock. Could kind of, oh, no. even worth it to mess with this guy? Not really. So I had to bail. Depth 3, level 1. So yeah, not, not great. I'd probably do better with the mod. And I just have to worry less about stupid shock. keep messing with it. Uh, so this is the modded one, right? So... Hey! See, you have to give permissions for all these... any file thing you do. in the program files folder because Windows thinks that makes it secure. Um, this is the modded one, correct? Yes, shock level none for the zombie. So there you go, the mod that takes away shock from scary monsters, they don't cause you shock, but it turns out that that shock is directly related to the XP you get for discovering monsters, so if monsters don't cause you shock, they also don't give you any XP, because I guess, because <laughs> uh, cause shock is all that matters in Infra Arcana land. I don't like shock at all. Well, but, but I seem to still come out a little ahead of the X, uh, curve, uh, playing with the mod than without, in terms of leveling. That is an interesting twist that I did not expect, and I don't think Hal expected, or, uh, I forgot to mention that, um, my, oh gosh, I can't remember his name now. Ah, it's killing me. Now I'm going to look it up. Don't mind me just looking up stuff on my phone. Because I follow him on YouTube. So I just have to look up people I follow. I just have to look at my YouTube subs. Oh, Gamma Funk. I didn't even have to look. It came to me because I'm slow. Gamma Funk uh, helped with the mod, came up with the exact line. Uh, text that needed to be changed. So anyway, uh, but yeah, so it turns out that the shock level, it is inflicted by a weird looking monster on the player in an infra arcana, 
um, is also what determines how much XP you get for spotting that monster. So if you're not scared of a monster that when you see it, you don't get any experience because I guess who cares, right? Uh, you're only, you only, in this world, you only gain level, you only power up by seeing scary things. Maybe that's why horror films are so popular. I never really understood this before. I never saw the point in horror movies. I could be I could be much higher level than I am now in in the RL. That didn't stand for roguelike. That was supposed to stand for real life. Um, all right. Well, so that was the uh, that was my noob mod, Hal's uh, uh, no monster XP mod of just changing the shock level value for monsters in Monster XML in InfraArcana's data folder. Uh, so there you go. Pretty easy to do. And you get that funky result where, in general, your shock will be much lower, but you won't get the discovery experience for finding those monsters. Still, especially if you like melee like I do, um, it, it probably does make things easier. Uh... Which you know, I I didn't want something to make it easier. I just want to. I just I just wish I could just turn shock off completely. But uh, and you know, make monsters tougher. I don't care. But just don't bother me with shock. I hate shock. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and good night. Oh, I didn't hit my key right, so it's still recording. Well, that's embarrassing. I do this. Oh, it's because my function, this keyboard's weird. Anyway, good night. No, I still didn't do it right. Well, heck. Um, it should be on that now. I'm trying my keyboard shortcut for stopping the recording. Here goes.